Hello everyone, Callum here from KB Ants and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the colony that Ants R Us kindly sent me. And today's colony will be Camponotus rufoglaucus. And at the moment I'm currently moving them into a, a bamboo um, test tube, as you can see. Um, they have literally just uh, attached them to the tube, so that's why they've not moved yet. Hopefully it doesn't take them too long. Um, I just thought they needed a little bit more space just to make it easier for me to um, feed them because um, obviously when there's only a, a small amount of space they can easily get to the test tube, test tube entrance when you take the cotton out so it's just to um, just help feed them really and this um, species is really interesting the colony only tends to grow to about 100 workers so the ideal for a colony that you know isn't going to you know grow massive and you have to keep upgrading the nests and stuff like that um, you can keep them in a fairly small nest at you know, maximum size colony size and um, so that's a good thing about them you, they're found in Africa and the Canary Islands um, and the, the temperature they like is uh, roughly about 28 degrees Celsius um, so yeah, you, you would need um, a heat cable for these, which I have luckily. Um, I'd say they're probably a beginner friendly species other than that you, you know you need to take, pay attention to climate for them. Um, other than that, they'll be fairly, fairly easy and I'll be sure to keep updating you guys on um, how they're, well they're doing. They've got some brood at the moment, I think they've got um, a couple of larvae um, and some eggs. Um, they are really a nice looking species and I can't wait to see what they will grow into. Um, obviously it would be nice for me to have a colony that doesn't grow so huge because most of the species I keep I tend to go towards the more um, invasive and fast growing species. Um, it's mainly what I'd like to keep um, but for me this would be a nice change, um, something that yeah, I haven't got to keep worrying about having to buy um, bigger setups. Um, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to have a more relaxed species. Um, but also these are a, a decent size so that you can um, view them more easily. Um, which is obviously good as well. The food is the normal stuff um, that you feed most of your ant colonies. So you, you know, mealworms, wax worms, fruit flies, um, sugar water, this species doesn't hibernate, which is also good. So it just means that when other colonies are hibernating, you've always got a species that you can look after. Um, so yeah, that's, that's another good thing about this species. Uh, humidity for this species, you want to keep them at about 60% uh, humidity in the nest. So they're quite a humid loving species. And this Camponota species does make its nests in the ground rather than like most Camponota species which make the nests in wood uh, which will chew out and obviously make the, the nests in that. So yeah, it's it's different to see a Camponota colony that nests in soil in the ground which is really cool I think. Um, I hope you like the video. Uh, I just want to say a thank you to Ansar also sending me this colony. Um, I'm really happy with them. Uh, like I said, it's not a colony I'd usually go for, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, they make really good viewing because of their size. Most of my species are quite small. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Thank you for watching.